Hello again. Today we're changing out the taillight bulb. I think I've replaced these about four times now, and it would be a bummer to have to take it to the dealer each time you need a new bulb. So follow these steps and you can swap out your bulb in a few minutes at home. The only items you'll need for this are a Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic wedge of some kind, ideally a trim removal tool, and the new bulb. The bulb is a P21 slash 5W bulb. The P21-5W denotation means the bulb is a dual filament bulb. If you take a close look, you can see the bulb consists of two separate filaments inside of the same bulb. The 21 in P21-5 means that 21 watts will power the major filament, and in this case the break portion of the light is the major filament, and 5 watts will power the minor filament, which in this car is the driving tail light. This way both driving lights and the brake light functions can be performed by the same bulb. That being said, make sure you purchase the correct bulb with dual contacts, otherwise you'll run into problems. The bulb I am using today is a Sylvania Mini Bulb 7528P21-5W. The bulb itself will be listed in the description below if you want to buy a replacement. So once all of your tools are gathered, approach the vehicle and lift the tailgate. I will be changing the left taillight but the instructions are the same for the right tail light as well. Overall, to release the tail light, you will need to unscrew two Phillips head screws on the medial portion of the tail light, and then wedge out the front of the tail light from its attachments on the body. The screws will be relatively easy to remove as they're easy to access, but once they're out, just place them to the side. Wedging out the tail light can be a bit tricky and requires a little bit of force, but overall, you will need to wedge a thin rigid item into the small gap between the body and the tail light and slowly wedge the tail light towards the rear. Once released you can take a quick look at the pegs that hold the tail light to the body. You could probably get away with using a flathead screwdriver for this, however you run the risk of scratching the paint uh, just due to the hardness of the metal. Now that the tail light is free, flip it back to reveal the bulb harness. It's relatively easy to replace any faulty bulbs from this position. The tail light bulb will be the topmost bulb that fits into the red circular lens. Twist the harness to remove it from the housing, but once it's free, the bulb can be removed by pressing in lightly on the bulb and twisting it. Once free, grab the new bulb and repeat the process in reverse. With the new bulb in place, realign the taillight pegs with the body and press it in. Give the tail light a little bit of a tap to secure it. And once seated, refasten the two screws that were removed earlier. And that should really do it. Uh, give it a quick test and you'll be back on the road in no time. Hopefully this video saved you a little bit of hassle with dealing with the dealer for replacing your tail light bulb. Uh, these, these bulbs run out fairly easily and frequently, so, so it's much easier to do it yourself. And once you know how, it takes just a few minutes. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more Range Rover Sport and LR3 tips and repairs that hopefully will save you tons of money over taking it to the dealer. That's it for now and have a good one.